Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my 400. Everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my studio apartment. First walk in, this is the view that you'll see. To the left is a closet, and to the right is the artwork that I had made that I also mentioned in my previous apartment tour. In this closet, I just keep miscellaneous stuff, tissue, paper towels, stuff that I didn't end up using, uh, cleaning supplies. And Coming in, I just keep a space heater on the floor. There is central heating, but I just prefer my little space heater. When you walk in, you'll immediately enter the bedroom space. Here is my bed for reference. It is a California King. And then here is a small sofa bed couch that I ordered off of Amazon. It does pull out into a bed that is about a little bit smaller than a twin. Here's the TV, a shelf that I had put on the wall. This is the view. This apartment does have wall-to-wall -wall windows, which I think is really cool. A lot of this stuff that you'll see I decorated with, you'll see that I had in my old apartment. I actually had to get rid of a lot moving into the studio apartment. This is the mirror that I got from Ikea, a plant. It is a fully functional kitchen. There's stove top, an oven I'm actually cooking right now. A lot of cabinet space. To utilize space, I decided to get this sink rack that took up half the sink. I know some people wouldn't prefer that, but I thought it was better to utilize the counter space rather than having a dish rack be on the counter and taking up all that space because two-tone cabinetry, it's really nice. On camera, it looks a little bit gray, bluish but it is like a metallic gray color, the bottom cabinets. So coming back to the, to the restroom, when you walk in, this is what you'll see. I did have a TV installed on the wall. This is a view from the restroom. This is the cabinet space. If you guys remember from my other apartment tour, I had kind of a pantry in the restroom that I had all the towels rolled up in. So this is the approach I took here. I just have the towels, some extra paper towels and tissue in the back over there, the speaker. Above the toilet is this picture that I also had in my other restroom in my previous apartment tour. So I just put it right here. Coming down to the toilet, I just have some knockoff poopery spray and a plant that I got from Trader Joe's. It's an air plant, so it's not doing too well. I wasn't exactly sure to take care of it. I handled the directions the guy gave me as best I can, but I love the vase that it came in. I call this plant FC. This way, these towels, one second. My salmon's done. To the restroom. I forgot to mention that here I have the paper towel holder. I have the same soap dispenser that I had in my previous apartment. A lot of the same decor, but the layout's very different. Um, my previous apartment was about 750 square feet, and this one is about, I think, a little more than 400 square feet. So just some decor, my face steamer, and a candle. Looking back into this hallway where my closet's on the left and the living space is on the right, this is what you'll see, the decorative towels, the shower, the TV's up here, and there are mirrors in the bathroom. This one is also a medicine cabinet. Just another overview of the living space. Rug from Ikea. I layered it so that it was underneath the bed and the couch. I actually had this rug in my previous apartment as well, but I didn't buy it until much after the time that I posted my apartment tour in 2020. This shelf, I just have my laptop, books, calendar, another plant, an overview of the view, and that's basically it for this apartment tour. I'll insert